and uh, we just simply take out all the tools out of the little bag that's here I'll do that now and uh, here we are I've laid the things out just down here so you can see the tools I don't need I've just popped up here for the moment we'll be needing to get some gear out of this little bag so I'll pop that down on the table as well okay I've got the bolts all laid out you've got four washers four bolts you always get a spare one of these for your um, your power supply holding on the spool holder which is a nice little feature because these things I suppose you can lose them nice to have a spare now I've just popped the power supply down here there's two little holes on the back um, that's so you can mount the spool holder and that's where you get these little tiny thumb screws uh, just pop them through the hole line up the line up the screws there once you can I'm on the wrong side of the uh, camera here so bear with me there that one goes in and we just pop the other one in as well then you grab this little bit here which is uh, again just the spool holder unscrew the end bit here you just simply align I'll move the camera up a little bit for you there we go so you just simply align it through the hole like so and the other little piece here just fits on the end and you just simply screw it on now I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't need it for the moment I'm going to pretty well follow the instruction manual uh, with the exception of uh, pre-inspection so to speak I'd normally go around make certain that all the bolts are tight and the eccentric uh, bolts are you know correctly tensioned so that we've got enough um, pressure on the on the gantry or on the bed as the uh, case may be that it uh, engages correctly so we'll do that now but before I do that I'll take off the clips and the uh, glass because I don't want to take a chance on cracking that slide this out of the way now I can get to the clip and off she comes now I don't want the glass sitting here for the moment so I'll take it off put it aside somewhere and I'm taking off the tape for the moment that's uh, looks like two pieces so you can join them and stick them across your bed this actually goes on the glass not on the bed itself um, okay one thing to be wary of with uh, these printers You'll notice that the connector at the back here for the heated bed, the wires are just sitting there. Now, if you leave it like this and don't put a form of strain relief over it, over a fairly short period of time, the movement up and down and backwards and forwards will actually weaken the wires to the stage where they're going to snap off. So you do need to have a strain relief. Now, I printed this out for my uh, Creality Mini, but it doesn't fit the Mini. So <laughs> that came on the uh, SD card, but it does fit a CR-10. So funny enough, we've got a CR-10 sitting here. Now, so I suppose I should really show you how to put this on. So we just turn him around there and up underneath. Get that up a little bit there. There we go. Now, the strain relief itself fits across this little little bolt here, so we just basically loosen that off. Now, I haven't checked the SD card to see whether um, this particular printer came with the STL files. They normally do, but uh, we'll see. Okay. So basically you just undo that, slide that through a little bit and you'll notice the orientation, it has to go in that way and see if I can get that in a better position to show you and that's how the strain relief fits in there this, once I get the bed level, will clamp through there we'll put a couple of ties in there and that'll protect the wires from breaking it is an absolute must, definitely print one out, um, you will need it 